You know, sometimes smart people don't always have smart ideas. Lately, I've heard friends of Leverett Pond need $360,000 of town and state money to replace a dam that they think is catastrophically going to fail. That dam's holding back about eight inches of water. It's April. The water's a little cold, but I thought I'd give you a demonstration. April's also the month where the water is usually at its peak, and the water's flowing over a 10 foot thick concrete dam. The walls are in perfect shape. You can tell by the edges of the concrete here that there's nothing wrong with this dam at all. Some crumbly stuff left over from a uh, botched job to sort of make it look a little prettier is on the surface, but the dam itself is connected very well to the volcanic rock on both sides and there doesn't seem to be any leaking I can see or any problems whatsoever. So why are they doing this? Well, I think the answer was that in 1980 when they overbuilt everything, uh, as if they were holding back uh, the Hoover Dam's worth of water, they ruined the sluice gate. And now they want to do what's called a winter drawdown in order to kill the milfoil, and they need that sluice gate back in. A winter drawdown will pull pretty much half of the water out of the pond. This will kill all the amphibians uh, left in Topor in the littoral zone of the pond. It will also drain all the tributaries where the turtles live all around the pond. And it will also kill all the beneficial vegetation around the pond, including the macroinvertebrates um, nymphs that tend to be in the mud at that time. To add insult to injury, in the middle of the summer, in the middle of breeding season for all the animals, all of the insects, they come out and dose the place with herbicide. Now, they warn the people, don't drink the water. Don't go on the pond for the first day. And don't let your dogs drink the water for two weeks. But as one of the friends of Leverett Pond said, I guess the animals didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo. The following year, the warning used more folksy language and said, make sure your critters don't drink the water for the next two weeks. Your critters. Well, I have news for you, friends of Leverett Pond. These are my critters. you won't be doing the drawdown. And as far as I'm concerned, I can't imagine why the town would you allow you to continue and spend our money so you can do this. Don't vote for Article 19. Thank you.